and interesting you talk about planning your career and and where you work and what you do and your strengths and what evolved and mm. we've talked before in this podcast about um, the hedgehog theory and working towards the things where you what you like doing what's what you're good at and what drives your economic driver or your personal driver and trying to work in those areas and clearly you must have worked it that out that leadership and management was a real one of those strengths and one of those areas that you enjoyed doing yeah. and and the other bit was taking a chance and we've heard in people like ian goodman who you know um talk about you know having had that chance and provided to them and then taking the leap of faith to have a have a crack at it mm. and, and do it one of the experiences that's been pivotal for me was um when i worked with for de beers i joined finch mine it was going from an open pit to an underground so it was a major capital project to prepare the underground to take over from the open pit. Um, and the guy who'd been selected to run it, he, he became a mentor of mine and he, he, he was such a great leader because he was, he was an electrical engineer in a mining environment. And all my experience up until then had been that you're a mining engineer, you do your time underground, whatever the case may be, you come up through supervisory ranks, that's how you become a leader. And he was a guy who, you know, a great guy, um, Rob Smart was his name. Um, had done a bunch of things, but was leading a major underground construction project without having the background that I thought you needed to have. And it was just such a powerful message for me that if you've got the right leadership skills, because he was he was calm, he was thoughtful, he never lost his temper, he paid attention to the details, he was really strong with people, and he got that job done without sort of having had done something like that before. And this is a billion rand plus project mm, in those days, massive, 25 yeah. years ago. And I thought, well, you know, that's leadership in action. You don't have to be the technical expert in everything. You've just got to take time to know people, support people, you know, be positive. Um, and that's, that's what he was. And he became a role model of mine again. And that's, they're some of the traits that I decided I wanted to develop uh, to be successful because I saw what he achieved by being that type of person.